video is about why I am not into one foot jumping, one foot dunking, um, and to explain why if you're choosing between one and two feet, I think that two feet's a good choice. And I think that the key difference is in landing. I think that landing off one foot jumps is more difficult and riskier. If we look at acute landing injuries like Paul George snapping his leg, Kevin Ware snapping his leg, Sean Livingston snapping his leg, these are all one foot jumps. Um, and a one foot jump is way more potential to have vertical, or sorry, horizontal distance traveled. Like you can jump from the free throw line and off one foot and dunk it, but not off two. But if you have tons of horizontal vertical momentum, um, it makes squatting down impractical for landing, so you pretty much have to run through. So you need to be very good and very precise and have tons of landing space. And even then, it's just, if you're coming down from 50 inches and you can't squat, you just hit the ground running. I'm not a huge fan of it. So that's why I'm not into it. I'd much rather jump more or less straight up and land more or less straight down in a squat. That, but if you're into one foot jumping, I mean, go for it. It's a way. It's another thing you can do. I'm just personally not into it because I think that it's a little bit riskier on the human body. However, it's good basketball move, and um, there's pro there are, there's definitely ways to maximize your jump while minimizing your landing. Um, I don't have the answers on how to do that. My answer is just two foot jump, but that's why I'm not into one foot jumps.